I think we just literally hit the mother load of the agates. <laughs> Guys, check this thing out. Oh my gosh. What's up guys? It's Alex, Kip, and my daughter Lydia. It's been a little while, hasn't it? <laughs> Life's been really busy, but we are back out here on the Yellowstone River and I am so excited to bring you guys along for another rock hunt. Trust me, it's long overdue. Oops, almost tripped. <laughs> so we are gonna head down to the river and we'll meet you guys down there. As you can tell, it's a beautiful spring day. The trees are just starting to pop, 65 degrees, and we're just gonna go see what we can, what we can find down there. So I'll see you in a few minutes and we'll get on with the hunt. just about there beautiful little walk here so we're gonna find a nice spot to do some hunting fill up the spray bottle and see what we can find hopefully some nice agates maybe some petrified wood who knows we'll see you in just a sec okay we haven't even started hunting yet and we already found this tiny little agate but I think it's a good sign and I think we've got plenty of areas left to search. So let's go fill up the water bottle and get to it. I think we just literally hit the mother load of agates. <laughs> Guys, check this thing out. Oh my gosh. All right, I'm gonna just take a quick picture of it for the thumbnail and then we will expose it and get it nice and cleaned off. Okay, here it is, everybody. Take a look at that behemoth. Oh my goodness gracious. This thing is huge. This might be the biggest agate I've found this year, but a nice huge quartz pocket in the middle there. Um, this is probably a fantastic candidate to put on the saw at some point. My gosh, just look at that thing. That's huge. Lydia, what do you think? That's a nice rock, isn't it? Yeah, that's a big agate. Kind of a cool little piece of uh, jasper here right next to it too. Oh, yeah, you wanna show everybody that rock? Let's see. Oh, that's a nice one you got there. Okay, well, we're gonna keep looking, but man, oh man, that is just a beauty. Yep, okay. Back to the hunt now. All right, we've got another little agate find right here, everybody. Kind of just a classic nodule. Hard to tell if there's a lot going on in there, but probably a little bit of moss just by looking at it. Pretty fractured up though. Definitely a cool find. Kip's just down there waiting for somebody to throw him a stick. Poor guy. Lydia is also looking for rocks. And we're having a beautiful time. So I really do appreciate everybody's patience over the last couple months. It's been kind of crazy just getting used to work. We've actually got another baby on the way here soon. So I've been pretty busy, but I've been getting emails from you guys and messages on Instagram. And it's just been so fun to hear from you and hear about how you miss my videos. It really touches me. So um, I think there's gonna be more to come here soon, um, but you're gonna have to bear with me, hopefully. So I can get a video out once or twice a month and that's kind of going to be my goal going forward. That's a huge rock! <laughs> Alright, we're going to get back to the hunt. Alright, a couple little finds here guys. This one I believe is a little treasure state agate. Kind of cool. And then, pretty nice little piece of petrified wood. I actually just got another batch of rocks in the tumbler. So, um, I've been having some technical difficulties with it, but 
I'm looking forward to getting some more tumbling and lapidary stuff done over the summer. All right, we gotta go supervise playtime real quick. Uh, we're playing down here in this little gulch. And I found a little agate. Nothing super special, but pretty. Very pretty, look at the glow. <laughs> I can't even tell you guys how nice it is out here. I'm just enjoying this beautiful spring weather. Absolutely stunning. Hope everyone's doing well. Hope you guys all had a good winter. Everyone stayed safe and healthy. It's a nice piece of jasper. Look at that. That is just beautiful. I love finding the jasper out here on the Yellowstone, as, as you guys know. And there's a little septarian nodule. Check that out. That's really pretty too. I'm sure there's lots of goodies to find out here today. Guys, look at this little piece of petrified wood. Right there, just like a teeny tiny little thing, but man, wouldn't that just tumble up nicely? You can see we're kind of way up off the river, but a lot of this gravel has been washed with recent rain and snow melt, so it's really fun to search through. Lydia's found some bones, so that's kind of fun. So anyways, we're just kind of hanging out up here and Definitely finding some good stuff, but of course, it's hard to multitask and be a daddy and agate angler at the same time. So we're having to be sort of measured in our approach, but we're finding some good stuff for sure. Oh wow, this is a tiny little find, but super beautiful. Look at these little fortifications on this little small piece of agate right there. That is stunning. Gosh, if only you could find the full piece of that. That would be a agate of the day for sure. <laughs> Lydia's got a huge bone. That's a nice one. All right. I got kind of a cool piece of Jasper here. I know a lot of you guys enjoy seeing things aside from the regular agates and petrified wood. So this is a pretty cool piece. There's some really nice kind of patterns in it and Sort of that red and brown color is pretty neat, I think. So that's kind of a cool find. And I was hoping I might, hoping I thought, I thought I saw maybe one or two other things, but you know, you think you see something and then before you know it and you look back down, it seems like it's disappeared. So we'll get back to the hunt and hopefully find a few more cool things before we call it a day. I don't usually show off multiple pieces of Jasper in one video, but this one, Seem pretty cool too. Really nice pattern in there. I don't think I'm gonna take it home though because I don't think I would do anything with it, but still a nice find. Wow, now this is a really interesting find. I sprayed this off because I just saw a little bit of it sticking out of the dirt, but it's a really funky looking agate. Lots of like a uh, small betroidal action going on in there. That's a really interesting one. Wow, that's cool. Um, I would have filmed me uncovering that, but I didn't actually think it was an agate. So there you go. I guess I learned my lesson once again. Okay, another little piece of petrified wood here. I haven't found very much of it today. I know it's out there. Sometimes you just have an eye for it and sometimes you don't, but it's kind of a cool piece. I like the blonde colors in it. And I was sort of hoping we'd find a couple more things before we called it a day. Look at that. That almost looks like it's been shaped like an artifact, doesn't it? Um, but yeah, I was hoping we might find a couple more things before we have to head home and get some lunch made but of course you never know what you're gonna find out here and that's kind of always the trick but I'm so glad 
that I could get out here, even for just a short rock hunt. And certainly a nice late morning out on the river and get some sunshine makes a big difference. So guys definitely need to stay tuned because there is going to be more content coming. I just don't quite know the spacing or the intervals or how often I'm going to do stuff. But I really, really appreciate everybody's support. And it's good to be back. So I think we're going to head down that way, do maybe do a little bit more hunting, and then we'll call it a day after that. All right, guys, this might be our big petrified wood find for the day right here. Oh. Yeah, I'd say so. That's pretty cool. It's really dark. Yeah, what do you think, Lydia? Is that a nice find? Yeah, it's kind of a cool find. You know, not the most going on in it, but uh, always fun to find millions and millions of year old petrified wood. And I definitely see an agate right here. Look at that. That's a nice one. Pretty fractured up. Not a lot going on on the outside anyways. But definitely cool. Sometimes you're out here and it's just like, it's so hard to leave because <laughs> there's so much to find. And we're definitely experiencing that right now. We've got another little winner right here. Oh yeah. Look at that nice quartz pocket running through there. I think I may have to clean some of these up at home and give you guys a closer look once they're cleaned off. I know I've done that in the past. We'll see. Kind of depends on how the footage turns out, but that's a sweet find. Are you ready for an epic end to the video? <laughs> I just found this thing just sticking up out of the ground. Um, some beautiful little bands in there. It's unfortunately pretty fractured up, but just a beautiful, beautiful piece. Um, and another little tiny piece of banded chert, which I love finding out here. I love this stuff. It's so pretty. So, we got that. <laughs> What's so funny, huh? <laughs> then this, which I don't know if it's just chalcedony, but it's really pretty. And then the last one, we'll save the best for last here. Over here. I marked it off because I didn't want to pull it up without you guys being there, but check this thing out. This little agate. Might not look like much, but right in there, look at those bands. My goodness, that is just stunning. I love finding little agates like that. And actually a couple little kind of cool pieces of petrified wood too. Look at that. This one there, pretty sweet. And then another little chunk. So, not half bad, right? Oh, what? Lydia, can you smile? Okay, fine. All right, so we're gonna call it a day, I think, guys. But well, that was really fun. Thanks for coming along as always, and we'll see you next time.